Hey guys, my name is Tastic here, and today we are back for another tutorial on servers. Now this here is for your MC Pro hosting server on how to upload worlds to it. This here has been highly requested by a whole bunch of you, so uh, let's begin. So what you are going to need is FileZilla. You are going to want to download the client. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description for uh, this and this, that there, you don't really need, you can always go to it. I'll leave it to the actual page though, but uh, what you want to, to do is just click the client. Don't download the server one, you don't want that one there. This here is compatible with Win Windows Vista, uh, Windows slash Vista 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. So uh, what you want to do is go ahead and download it and it will take you to this other page where it will just load all the files uh, together. So your download will begin shortly and uh, after that it should download instantly. So four, three, two, one, and then it should start downloading as you can see there. So I've already got one downloaded, but uh, yeah. What you're going to want next is to have a map. Now I just went onto Planet Minecraft and uh, found this map here. Uh, so you, what you want to do is just go ahead and click download. Uh, each uh, map is different, it'll take you to a different download place. But what you want to do is go ahead and click download. This one here has it right here, so I can go ahead, click download, and it is just pressing all the files together. And then what you want for all of this work is Multiverse Core. Now uh, this here is the latest one, I believe, right now. Uh, if there's an update one, make sure they get that, but make sure it is compatible with your computer. So go ahead, click download, log out of that. Uh, will it let me download? Are you gonna let me download? There we go, so that will take no time at all. Make sure you have that download. This is already downloaded on my computer. Uh, it's pretty easy to download plugins, you shouldn't need to search it up. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open FileZilla to install it completely on your computer. I would recommend having a virus protection on, but this here is virus free. But I would recommend before installing anything at all, you have a virus protection on. So you want to go ahead and click next. You can choose where you want to download it. I prefer to have it on desktop. Now this should take no time at all, so let it just download all this. Go ahead, click finish, and it should load it up straight away. So what, when you come to this here, you are not done. It says you need your host, username, password, and port. To know all of this here, you want to go to your server, click file, and uh, uh, FPF access, or uh, whatever that is, and then go FTP, I mean, and then you go to here. And this here would have your uh, IP port username, password, you will need to know off by heart. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this stuff here. Copy, paste. C, control, V, uh, okay, we don't want all of that in front of it, and password is that, uh, I'm not going to tell you my password, and then you want to do quick connect, so uh, double checking to see if this is your world, look at the maps you have on here, and see if they are exactly the same, so I'm going to tell, because I have, uh, let's do VHL1, on here I got VHL1 so that there is my server so then you want to go ahead and drag this to your desktop or just open it up wherever you are because of that there you have your world what you want to do is you want to go and just oh, move there we go. Uh, you want to go and drag your world into here now this here should install uh, fairly quickly just because this is a small world uh, depending on your internet speed and how large the world is so if you store a uh, gigabytes worth of a world this here may take a pretty long time and if your internet speed is pretty slow then I wouldn't recommend doing that. Also another thing, make sure you have enough sp uh, space on your server. Uh, for me I can have 4 gigs worth of stuff so I got 2.5 gigs blah blah blah. Uh, check your plan, go to the plans and all that, check your plan. I've got gold so I should have enough on that there. I have used a lot of space up on here but uh, I should have enough to fit this small world. So just let that download, it should tell you when it is finished downloading, uh, it should either lock you out of this here or is it direction complete. Don't worry about this here, every single file doesn't need to install, but uh, these are the main ones that need to install. You will know when it's done, when it's done, when it says up there. Uh, there are other ways you can do this, but I find this here to be the easiest way. So we don't need this here. Uh, so FileZilla, make sure you have that, if not it won't work. Uh, you can even double check to see if it's installing, you don't need to do this. 
but what's this called so you're gonna need to know world name so that then may be a bit tricky but you can always go in here and uh, change it so um, let's see can i find the world okay so this is what's installing so if i scroll down to the t's i'm past it uh there we go there it is uh it's not alphabetical order you need to change it to that but this is how you know it is installing so it's a fairly big file i've got wow 2.2 gig okay i need to get rid of that world but uh still installing uh this shouldn't take too much longer um so i may just leave this recording and uh, i will come back when it is finished Alright, and you can see it says successful, so it is completely installed. So what you want to do is uh, close out of this here, it should auto log out. If it doesn't auto log out, then you may have something still installing or you may have done something incorrectly. So once you've got it in here, uh, you really should rename the world, but uh, I'm going to do it right here. Oh well, no, I want to, I don't want to go here. So you go back, so come on, I don't, I don't have all time in the world so click this here rename and i'm just gonna call it p c so save and that that's what it is going to be called so you want to go back here i have people on the server currently so again if you want to come and play on our server uh go ahead ip is that there in uh planetarycraft.mcpro.eu but what you want to do is want to go ahead and restart your server and open up minecraft now just recently uh minecraft 1.9 has been released it's not compatible with our server yet as it is still fairly new but uh you can go ahead and play with that it is open now for you that don't know uh really fun i i've only played briefly on it but since a lot of servers aren't 1.9 compatible just yet i have decided not to uh completely play with it so as you can see it's still updating for those if you see this here it means it's just restarting so uh, yeah we have survival games new game is on the server if you like survival games come on make sure to play that and uh we'll just wait until this is finished uh updating uh so this shouldn't take too much longer uh this year I have to get this here it's pretty cool you can tell if anyone's on a specific server uh, I am going to try to find now. Shouldn't take too much longer, I believe. Again, I have around 100 plugins and another 50 worlds, so this is why it takes so long. If you only have two worlds and a few plugins, then this shouldn't take long at all. Uh, if you have noticed for bucket servers, it does take longer as well when you have a lot of uh, worlds and like all that on there. So um, I'm predicting this should take another 15 seconds 10 seconds tops uh so uh, yeah come on how much longer uh this is server i don't know why it's unknown so there we go when it's green you know it is uh fully working so it's installing us in here well okay so these plugins need to be updated so what we have here is uh, an ordinary server uh, if i go slash have that world installed yet so what you want to do is like mvpp uh mvpp mv and pc uh and then you want to do normal that there will generate your world so you do slash mvpp pc and that there will take you to the world so you have slash gmc so i can fly around so this is the world that I have just installed, uh, pretty cool, this actually looks really cool as well, I really do like this, I just randomly chose the world as well, so yeah, so thanks everybody for watching, if you have any questions or something that's not working, make sure to let me know in the comments below, and uh, yeah, so uh, let's do say oh no, say hi to me, oh my god, Uh, there we go so thanks everyone for watching if you've got any questions again make sure to let me know in the comments below 
And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. This is Mindtastic, and goodbye.